Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Murray, a lecturer within the Department of Logistics, and I will be your host. Hello allemaal, my name is Kurt Murray, a docent at the Department of Logistics, and I gaan jou gas hier wees. It is my pleasure to welcome you, our prospective Marty student, and your parents to this event. I shall introduce you to the Dean and other academics and lecturers, as well as to some of our students. We hope you find the presentations informative and useful and that it will help you prepare for next year in order to make the transition to university so much easier. First on our program is the Dean of the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, Professor Ingrid Woolard, who will give you a bird's eye view of the faculty. Good day, Goedag Mulwene. We're absolutely delighted that you are planning on joining us in the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences in 2022. A qualification from the EMS faculty at Stellenbosch University will be your gateway to a wide range of career options all over the world. Our graduates are highly sought after and most of our students have well-paying jobs lined up before they even complete their studies. We see it as our role to prepare you for the world of work. Not only do we ensure that you master challenging material, but we also ensure that we instill in you the graduate attributes of being ethical, innovative, creative, entrepreneurial, and socially responsible. Many of you will go on to jobs that haven't even been invented yet. So we want to be sure that you have, all, you have the core set of attributes that you need in order to continually adapt and learn new skills. As a faculty, we pride ourselves on being student-centered and providing a world-class experience. We constantly benchmark our qualifications to ensure that we are delivering the best quality education. One of the ways we do this is to track our performance in the external examinations set by professional bodies, such as the South African Institutes of Chartered Accountants, the Actuarial Society, and the Health Professionals Council of South Africa that accredits our program in industrial psychology. You'll be hearing more about our recent successes in these exams later in this video. We offer a wide variety of accredited programs, including broad degree programs and professional degree programs from undergraduate to PhD level. We review and renew our programs regularly to adapt to the changing world of work. Since occupations across nearly all domains are becoming more data-driven, the four-year Bachelor of Data Science program was launched at the beginning of this year. It will deliver graduates with highly developed skills in the areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Another very exciting niche program in the faculty is the BCom International Business Degree that was introduced in 2016 to develop the necessary intercultural and other skills demanded in the international marketplace. The program includes a semester abroad. Let's hear from one of our students currently abroad, Tessa Hubble. Hi, my name is Tessa. I'm studying BCom International Business and I'm currently studying in Strasbourg in France as part of the programs exchange semester. As you can see behind me, it is the European Parliament um, and this semester I will be volunteering at the European Youth Event. Um, it is a conference in October where the youth of Europe come together to discuss the um, topical issues of today. Um, there will be various um, keynotes, there will be times of debate, there will be activities and seminars, and I'm really excited to volunteer and be a part of that. But even if you don't choose to do the BCom International Business degree or get the chance to do a study semester overseas, you will have what we call an international experience at home. More than 10% of our students come from outside of South Africa, so you will get to meet students from all over the world. Interacting with them will broaden your outlook and give you the opportunity to build a global network. We know that with so many exciting options, it can be hard to decide exactly which route to follow. That's why we have built in maximum flexibility. It is possible to change your mind about your degree program during registration at the start of next year provided that you meet the minimum entrance requirements for the program that you want to transfer into. And most of our programs have a very similar first year curriculum, so you only really need to decide on the direction that you will follow at the start of your second year. So please do relax about all these decisions. We will be here to help you navigate these choices. As the Dean mentioned, professional examinations serve as benchmarks for students in actuarial science industrial psychology and accountancy. 
To tell you about her experience, I would like to introduce you to a former student, Sadia Wahab, who graduated with an honors degree in accountancy in 2020. She wrote the first South African Institute of Chartered Accountants exam called the Initial Test of Competency in April this year and passed with flying colors. In fact, she was one of the top 10 nationally. Hi, Prospective Marty. My name is Sadia and I completed both my B Accounting and B Accounting Honours degrees at Stellenbosch University, both of which are accredited professional accountancy programs offered fully in both English and Afrikaans by the School of Accountancy. I'm currently serving my first year of Psycho Articles as an academic trainee at the university, and it has been a wonderful experience being on the other side of the School of Accountancy as a lecturer. Almost all of the teaching staff at the School of Accountancy are qualified chartered accountants. This definitely aids in preparing students for the professional board examinations, which is the initial test of competence and the assessment of professional competence of the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, since these lecturers have already been through the process and therefore know what to expect. We wrote the ITC in April this year, and a total of 314 candidates from the BIAC Honours class of 2020, which was my class, sat for this exam for the first time in April. This number is the highest of any other institution in South Africa, and we obtained a 96% pass rate. In addition to this, we had five candidates from Stellenbosch University that made the honours roll. This means that we obtained an average of at least 75% in the ITC and ranked among the top 10 highest achievers nationally. I chose to follow the CA stream because I really enjoyed accounting in high school and the prestige that comes along with having that CASA designation behind your name really spoke volumes to me. It encompasses so much more than just being an accountant. It emphasizes the fact that you are a leader, a business-minded individual and a lifetime learner. A few of the attributes I have developed while being a student at studies. The experience of studying was mostly an enjoyable one for me, but it was definitely no walk in the park. It is normal to have those moments where you feel like giving up because the tremendous academic stress that comes with the tertiary education sometimes can get to be a bit too much. But that is why it is important to remind yourself of why you chose to study that particular course, to motivate yourself and to have a support structure, be it your family, your friends, your religion, a combination of them all or something else entirely. One thing to keep in mind that is important is that nobody really checks on you academically. It is completely your own responsibility to attend your lectures, write tests and exams, and engage in meaningful learning. There is a lot of freedom that comes with being at university. And if you find yourself having to be constantly reminded of the deadlines and assessment dates in school, then the university experience will definitely force you to be more responsible. All in all, thinking of all the lessons I have learned and the memories I have made, I know that Stellenbosch University was a great choice for me, and I hope that it can be for you too. We know you may feel uncertain about what to expect. So next, the Faculty's Vice Dean of Learning and Teaching, Professor Renal de Priya, will discuss expectations with you. She will also give you information about the excellent support that is available to students. Thank you, Kurt, for the introduction. And yes, as Vice Dean, excellence in learning and teaching together with student success is my passion. Working hard to meet the admission requirements is one thing, but at university, you will have to adapt to a new environment, a campus that is much different from the one you used to, bigger classes consisting of hundreds of students and a workload that will most probably double, if not triple. And the pace at which these things happen will be challenging to say the least. Having said that, we are here to help you. At this university, we have an amazing support structure that offers different services from mentors, psychologists and counselors to units specializing in aspects such as the disability unit. As part of the student leadership structure, the faculty also has its own student committee called the EBSK. They are the link between students and faculty management. The faculty also has a coordinator for student and academic affairs dedicated to assisting you. You will have ample opportunities to monitor your progress during the year. And if you get stuck, your lecturer is your first port of call 
So please see lecturers as partners in your journey towards student success. One thing you don't have to worry about is language. All our first year modules are offered in parallel medium. This means there are separate Afrikaans and English classes. It is your choice whether to select instruction in Afrikaans or English. I wish you everything of the best for your matric exam. We look forward to welcoming you as an EMS Marty in 2022. We would like our students to succeed, so we also have an extended degree program, or EDP for short. In Afrikaans, it is called a Verlengde Graad Program, or VGP. It is offered to assist students with proven potential, but without adequate schooling to graduate with a BCom degree. An additional year is added to the mainstream program and students re receive additional academic and other support. Two students, Odette Tron and Mika Kaptein, will tell you more. Hi, I'm Mika and I study third year BCom Management Accounting. Hi, my name is Odette and I'm a second year Management Accounting student who successfully transferred from the EDP program. The transition from high school to university is daunting as it comes with academic challenges that requires adapting to a completely new environment. In my first few days in the EDP program, I remember feeling completely out of place and struggled to adapt to the new feelings that came with being a first year university student. I also experienced imposter syndrome, but was relieved to find that we in the EDP program have our own educational psychologist. The program facilitated Dr. Sharon Milan was instrumental in showing how to approach the different challenges of being a new student. In the value-added experience sessions, we were not only taught how to be academically successful, but focused on aspects such as personal branding or even how to ace your first interview. That's very true. I must say, out of all the sessions, the GRIT sessions for our value-added experience were my absolute favourite. They really helped me to overcome the challenges of being a first year student. And that grit and those hardiness sessions really help us to overcome those obstacles. It can be challenging sometimes, but we have what it takes. We definitely do. Mika, what's a rot so you give on for the first year student? I would say you don't have to hard on yourself. The university is not easy. This comes with new achievements that you have never been able to achieve. Lot yourself to um voted the mark. The advice that I would give to first years is to find the beauty in this new adventure. If you're not sure what you came here to do, then this is the best place to learn. Go out there, find the beauty in this new experience and make a difference in your greater community. You have what it takes. Our degree is four years. Thus, we are often asked, why the longer option? Well, the shorter option is not always the best. Strong and steady wins the race. Thank, Thank you, you and good, good luck. luck. As mentioned before, the faculty has a student committee, the EBS Calm. Its vice chair is Langelitle Tlawane, who is also a B accounting student. We have asked Langelitle to give you her perspective on being a Marty. Hello there. I am Langelitle Tlawane, but most people call me Langa. I grew up in Pretoria and I am the eldest of four children. I enrolled in Stellenbosch in 2019 and never looked back. Interestingly enough, I liked Stellenbosch University so much that it was the only university I applied to. Their response was so quick and so efficient that I did not look anywhere else. I am currently in my third year studying Bachelor of Accounting going the chartered accountant route. More than just enjoying accounting, the profession itself is so rewarding. And as one gets to enhance the financial mechanisms of businesses and support corporate decision making, the added benefit is that once you qualify, you can enter into any chosen industry. Studying BIAC in Stellenbosch has been pleasant. Not only do you have the wonderful scenery to reduce stress when it gets stressful, but the lecturers are competent, approachable and dedicated to the students. All you have to do is your part. As mentioned, I am also the vice chairperson of the EBSK, the faculty student committee. 
The EBSK represents the interests of all EMS students through to the Student Representative Council. This is my second term running and it has been such a rewarding experience thus far. Being part of the committee, representing students and carrying so much responsibility has taught me a lot of skills that I will carry into the working place. The EBSK is a great way to give back to the faculty. Interacting with students has been my favorite part. Stellenbosch is filled with such lovely people and fortunately most of them happen to be in our faculty. Looking at the student community, the faculty has almost 9,000 students consisting of about 60% undergraduate students and more than 12% international students. These include international students who come to study short term at SU. Life before COVID-19, the faculty through the EBSK held events such as Talk with the Dean, Money Talks, and the amazing race. Student collaboration and success is encouraged in the faculty. So much so that we have a coffee station situated right in the center of one of our buildings. I live in Hastenbosch, an all-female residence on campus. All the students who do not reside in any of the university's residences automatically become members of a private student organization ward or PSOs. Both residences and PSOs provide students with meaningful opportunities for social and academic integration on campus. Being a Marty means being part of a bigger Stellenbosch family, a family that believes in respect, equality and fairness for all Martys. Stellenbosch has a vibrant, energetic and colorful student life with the dozens of student societies that are, that are as diverse as the student community. Whether your thing is culture, music, sport or social impact, there is something for everyone. It is a friendly town with unbelievable sunsets. Many of my most treasured moments were experienced here. Stellenbosch is without a doubt a place that you can make home for the duration of your studies. My name is Lamarck September. I'm a second year BCom Information Systems Management student. And I choose the EMS faculty because it equips me with the skills and knowledge that I need to be successful in my field. And I'm Christopher Tavillias and I'm a first year BX student. I studied at Stellenbosch University in the EMS faculty because it has many career opportunities, no matter what your preferences are, whether you are a theory buffon or you like your calculations and your sums, there are also a lot of computer specific careers for you. Hi, I'm Karabo. I'm studying fourth year BIAC LLB and I choose EMS because this is the only place where I can do it right. The next presentation is aimed at parents. So we have asked Professor Edwin Thron, who is both a parent and a lecturer, to discuss topics such as what parents can expect and how they can support students. Good day. My name is Edwin Tron and I'm from the Department of Business Management. I speak to you today not only from the perspective of a lecturer that is involved in one of our first year modules for the past almost 20 years, but also as a parent of two students that are currently studying at Stellenbosch University. Now from experience I know that the gap between grade 12 and the first year is quite significant. Your son or daughter might be academically well prepared for the challenges, but often they experience challenges with non-academic issues. Now we all know that Stellenbosch University has numerous support processes in place, but unfortunately not all students make use of these. And this is where we need you as parents, where we need your assistance. Please communicate frequently with your son or your daughter and most importantly, listen to them and please encourage them to seek assistance when needed. For example, at the start of the academic year and the start of each academic semester, they will receive the contact details of the lecturers responsible for each of their modules. Please encourage them to contact the lecturers immediately should they experience problems 
and please tell them not to wait until the first test is written. Unfortunately, this is often too late. Secondly, please offer your son or your daughter the freedom to choose, to choose a degree program according to their interests and passion. Too often we consult students that are not happy in their selected degree programs and in many cases they mention that they have selected this specific degree program because their parents felt it is a so-called good program that will ensure proper career opportunities. I cannot disagree to this, however, not having a passion for that, for what one is busy with, it really does not help in any way. Also, of course it is important to aim high, but I would like to argue that it is of utmost importance that our students maintain a healthy balance between their academics and all the wonderful opportunities that Stellenbosch University offers. Please encourage them to also participate in activities that lie close to their hearts and to invest in wholesome friendships. Finally, please keep in mind that although, the, uh, that although we believe in open communication, the new Poppy Act limits us in terms of what we may share with parents. For example, we are not allowed to disclose a student's marks to the parents unless the student has given us permission to share that information. All the best for the challenges lying ahead. And please let us know if we could be of any assistance. We have almost come to the end of the program. The last word belongs to the Dean, Professor Ingrid Bullard. We look forward to welcoming you next year. The most important thing for you to know is that we are committed to your success. Despite maintaining very high standards, our average pass rates are more than 85%. We will make sure that we do everything we can to ensure that you walk away with a world-class education. We look forward to seeing you in 2022.